rational numbers. The role of 0 and 1 in rational calculations. Role of 0 and 1 in rational numbers. Additive inverse, reciprocal of rational number. Role of 0 in rational numbers. 2 plus 0 is equal to 0 plus 2, that is 2. What do we find? We find that when we add 0 to a whole number, the sum is again that the whole number. This happens for integers and rational numbers too. Therefore, 0 is called the identity for the addition of rational numbers. It is the additive identity for integers and whole numbers as well. The role of 1 in rational numbers. Minus 2 by 7 multiplied by 1 is equal to 1 multiplied by minus 2 by 7, which is minus 2 by 7. We find that when we multiply any rational number with 1, we get back the rational number as the product. Therefore, a into 1 is equal to 1 into a, that is a, for any rational number a. We say that 1 is the multiplicative identity for rational numbers. Negative of a number While studying integers, we have come across negative integers. What is negative of 2? It is minus 2 because 2 plus bracket minus 2 is equal to 0. What is additive inverse or negative of minus 5? It is 5 because when we add 5 to minus 5, result is 0. For the rational number, 2 by 3, the additive inverse will be minus 2 by 3 as 2 by 3 plus bracket minus 2 by 3 is equal to 0. In general, for rational number a by b, minus a by b will be additive inverse or vice versa. Reciprocal Suppose 3 by 5 is a rational number. If we interchange the numerator and denominator, the result is 5 by 3. Therefore, we say that 5 by 3 is a reciprocal of 3 by 5. If we multiply both rationals, what we get? We get the result as 1. B by A is called reciprocal or multiplicative inverse of rational number A by B. If A by B multiplied by B by A is equal to 1. That is all in this topic, students. Let us learn about representation of rational number on a number line. Finding rational number between two rational numbers. Finding mean of rational number.